Hello and welcome to the lesson number 5 of Power Query. In this video, we are going to learn how do you fill the blank cells. So here is the data on which we have practiced last time. If you remember, we had combined first name and last name with the help of Power Query. So what we had done was we had gone to the data and we had click on from table and range and your Power Query editor had open, correct? However, in this video, we will be doing little different because when you go to the data and click on from table, so what is going to happen is it will again create a new query and will give you a separate sheet for that. No, I wanted to do editing in this query only. It means when I do the changes in Power Query and when I come outside, it should be applied on this one sheet only. So how do we do that? So to do that, the first step is you will go to the data and here is the option connection and queries. That is queries and connections. So I click on it and on the right hand side, this will open. If it is already open, good. If it is not, then you can quickly go to the data and click on queries and connection. So it will show you the query. So now this was, this is our table one and this is a table one and this is my query. So you see how I will do it. I will just bring my cursor on this query. No need of clicking. Just bring the cursor like this and it will display something on the left hand side and then you come on the left hand side and here you get delete a query and over here you even get another option that is your edit query means on this query you came and you are saying edit so it will edit this same query so now when i go to the power query now you see power query window is opening it will take some one two three seconds sometime and you will see this actions we had already done merge column we had done full name now it will be added over here another column if i would have took data table it would have created a new query and new sheet it would have generated i hope you all are getting you getting what i'm trying to say is so now over here my intention is to convert this into the uh, first character capital this also i had done so here I wanted to fill the blank rows, means blank cells, not the rows entire. So over here I have a nationality and why not I zoom it. So if you want to zoom uh, in Power Query, this is a beautiful shortcut which you should know. Control Shift Plus. Wow, it is increasing. Control Shift Plus. It is increasing. Amazing. So remember and again. Control shift minus it will decrease Control shift minus it will decrease interesting so i click on nationality and what is my intention over here is in this null cell i want to fill this syria so this syria i wanted to fill it over here this egyptian i wanted to fill it over here this uae i wanted to fill it down this can be one option you can have other option also which we use very rare let's say you want to go opposite like this india you want to fill it in all the above cell or here is the syria you want to go opposite or over here you have egyptian and you want to fill in all this cell so it can be both the way so i click on nationality if you want to do in excel you have to select the column you have to select the blank cell then you have to put the formula here you don't have to do anything just click on nationality go to the transform tab and in transform you get an option fill this is your option transform fill and i click on the fill and over here you get two options so up or down so i click on fill down so syria will be filled downwards amazing and over here he has filled egypt also and uae as well got it let's give it a try one more and you see this again a new step has come fill down but if you will observe now the next step again i'm doing a fill down i'm not doing some new step like i'm not merging a cell i'm not splitting a cell i'm not grouping it 
I am just doing the same action again but on another column. Let's see what happens over here. So if I click on marital status and again if I say fill down, you see it will fill married but he has not created a new step because it's a same step but on different columns. So it will not create another step for you. So when I come on fill down over here and over here you will see on this column he has put this code. When I come on nationality and again if I click on this and over here it will show me for the nationality as well. So this way basically you can fill the cell friends. Now what is the next step? Now you should remember. Now you have to exit from this. So I click on the file option and I click on close and load. Do you know what is going to happen? It is not going to create a new sheet. It will be edited. It will be applied in the table one sheet only that is this. So now if you will see this is going to fill amazing. So you see a new table has not been created. Why? Because I came over here and I said edit in the same query. This concept you should understand very thoroughly. If you understand this concept, you are good to go ahead. Otherwise, I request you to see this video once again, practice it and then only go ahead. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.